Quick recap from my previous video, I located the fibers I needed glowing on these two ribbons here, which I determined were live and had active circuits on them. So now I gotta pick them apart. And this method I'm using here, I picked up from some super old school splicers where they're using a needle to separate the individual fibers without breaking any of the other ones. And at first I hated it. I thought they were crazy, but now after some practice, I kind of got the hang of it. I would love to hear how some of you other guys handle this. How do you guys separate fibers when there's, you know, live circuits on them? Gonna peel these guys back to the beginning and the plan is here to install this brand new splice tray and transport those loose fibers up to this nice, clean, brand new tray. Got my transport tubes cut to length, securing them down. And in a couple moments here, what I'll be doing is threading them up from there up to the top. But first I gotta weave them through this mess and three or four coffees later, three in the morning, fine motor skills, not the best, but I managed to do it here. You can kind of see the red light, how it kind of helps, it kind of lets you know where your fibers are. Working on the second set here, almost done. I can't wait to be out of that ribbon tray and just working up in this nice clean tray. There you have it, the second set is here. Pull all the slack up, close that ribbon tray, but then what I always do, guys, is labels. I put labels on everything. These labels save me so much time because you know what? I'm going to be back here in six months. I'll have no recollection of what I did here, but these labels are going to tell me exactly what's going on. This is myself taking care of my future self right here. But thanks for watching, guys. That's all I got for now. I'm going to splice these up, pack this up, and I'm going to get out of here.